What's up, my peoples? It is your boy, AMG here, and today we'll be talking about episode 6 of The Rising Shield Hero, titled, A New Party Member. Now, the episode opens with them at the weapon store owner's place again. Like, it seems like Nafune and him were just really good friends at this point. Like, it is crazily how... How good friends. They're just talking everything. And it seems like this is one of his true friends in the world. Besides the people that are in his party. And they're going there to get Philia. 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 Clothes. And he's like, hey, so you're just going to flaunt every time you get a new cute slave? <laughs> it's just like, what, bro? He's like, I ain't doing that. I need clothes. And then she transforms. And he's like, what the hell is this, girl? What the hell? <laughs> it was like, no, there's nothing wrong with her. And when he was like, there's nothing wrong with her. She's just, she is apparently a queen of her species. Of the chickens. <laughs> I'm going to say chickens because it sounds funny. She's the queen of the chickens, apparently. And she can morph in everything and turn from human to uh, a chicken back to a chicken again. And that's how she blends in with the herd. So she's super, super powerful. So even though he didn't get a dragon last time, he actually got a pretty high ranking uh, animal because that dragon, I'm pretty sure, wasn't no king that the spear hero had. So that was cool. Explains why it was so fast and strong and everything. I thought that was unusual. I was just like, this thing is fast as hell. Like, what the hell? It's faster than a dinosaur? But anyway, I digress. Now that we, it's just like, they go there, can't get the clothes, there's any special clothes. It's like the Hulk. When he transforms, his stuff always rips. And then you're like, why didn't he just get something that can stress with his transformations? Which is probably what he's wearing in the Marvel movie now. But anyway, that's another topic. But... And then they go to the clothes maker. And the clothes maker, I love her personality because she's really, really passionate about what she's doing. She's like one of them girls where <laughs> she gets super, super excited. And she gets real, real, I guess you want to say extreme. Like the <laughs> extreme team on Johnny Test. But uh, yeah, she gets super extreme. I like her personality. She looked like she hadn't slept in forever because them bags in her eyes was ridiculous. Looked like she was half dead. But <laughs> anyway... <laughs> They're like, oh, you got to get some special magic cloth. Then they go to the magic lady who gave him the book, the grimoire to learn magic. And she's like, well, I need this special stone first so we can make this. So we have to go get a special stone. And he, literally he has his own little, you know, connections now because he helped those people in the village. And he has his own little connections. He goes around and starts selling stuff, like selling goods and stuff. And then he helps a merchant. And a merchant is like, he's like, oh, well, since you helped me and you saved me, I'm going to just, like, give you everything you need and all this other stuff. And it's funny because the bandits try to come attack him. And the bandits, as they call him, they call him in 2.5 seconds. They, there was, like, 20 of them come, like, 2.5 seconds. And he's, they're like, oh, aren't you the shield hero? <laughs> well, we're just going to tell you when you turn us over to the uh, village police that you uh, attacked us. And we're good people and all this bull crap. And I'm like, so like they're like, he'll believe us. And I was like... That's still kind of messed up because these people still see him that way, even though they know he do, does good. And just him throughout the episode, just going back and forth and helping people who are sick, getting like making medicine because he had the power to do that. And after that lady that he went to the medicine store, after he saved her grandson, she gave him more power, too. So it was like it's crazy that he has such good healing capabilities that he's just going around saving people. And people are like, oh, he's the myth is he's a <laughs> the hero who goes and saves people that sells good and has a magical chicken. <laughs> and they're like, is she a god? And then she starts, she's like, am I a god? And she starts talking in the merchant that's riding with him. It's like, she can talk, she has a god. I'm like, yo, that's funny as hell. But then they go look around looking for this stuff and come to find out that whatever they're looking for, the magic ore or, you know, jewel that they need is in a cave. And they get to the cave and the witch lady's with them. And they get to the cave and it looks like some kind of pantheonish, like Roman, Greek, like temples. 
That's exactly what, but it's underground, and it's weird. But it's kind of like it was like Atlantis or something, and then it sunk, and it's, but it didn't sink all the way down to the ground, or just water got over it. And it just it just looks really weird how that was made. And they start walking in the catacombs and the caves and stuff, and they start you know the chicken, f- filio 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 whatever you want to call her, she starts hearing voices and it just. Um, Nafune is saying evil stuff. And it's like, yo, that's not, I'm not, what? I'm not, I'm not saying that stuff. And the witch is like, yo, they're not saying the evil stuff. It's some evil, you know, monsters saying this type of stuff. And we come to find out it's some rat bats. Like, I don't know why they had rat bats. And bats already look like rats. Everybody calls them rats with wings. So really, it just it was weird that they made them look more like rats. So it was just like, all right, well, I guess. And then just them getting the stone and then getting in there and having to find a fight a new. A new is kind of like a tiger mixed with a snake. Uh, you can call it like a anaconda, I guess you could say. And they're just, you can just ref tell you, and Fleo, F- Philo, F- 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 whatever, chicken girl, go fly in there, and, like, <laughs> no, there was no two ways about it. They didn't even think about it. They just said, let's go. We got this. And that thing started whooping that ass, like, smacking them around. Well, he smacked Retellia around. He didn't do that to the chicken. But chicken was just kicking them and everything. Philo was kicking him and everything. And I'm just like, yo. Dang, them ladies still powerful. Like, golly, they're smacking it up. And then the food is like, yo, y'all need to calm down. He goes and blocks a hit. And I was like, you know what? Since he's a hero, I guess he does have super strength and all that stuff. And he just blocks, he blocks a hit and holding on. I was like, dang, how strong is he for real, for real? And then the chicken comes in and kicks him in the face. I'm like, yo, he got a Taijutsu fighter right there because that chicken is wild. It runs fast. Basically, you know what? That chicken's new name is Rockley. That's what it is. It's fast and it knows Taijutsu. It looks like it's a master. It's Rock Lee. That's who that is. And it just just fighting off everybody. Just the all the combos, the choreography of this episode was amazing. Just all the hits and going back and forth and teamwork. And then him, Nafune, just directing everybody like, do this, do that, do this. And then the last just scene of Nafune blocking the hit. Then <laughs> the chicken coming in and hitting, kicking it. And then the he t- uh, Nafune is like, yo, use your power. And the witch like electrocutes it or whatever it does, shadow balls or something. And then Rotelia comes in and stabs it. And then the chicken comes in and kicks it in the face. But it kicked it so hard that his head crunched and crumbled. And I'm like, yo, them some powerful legs. You really are broccoli. That's ridiculous. And they just get these stones and they're like purplish blue. It's a beautiful color. It's a nice scene they made up there. It was like, you kind of see a lot of scenes that are like that. But I like the color scheme that was in there. But they get the stones, they go back, and they make her dress <laughs> the crazy lady. Uh, come to find out, you can actually make the fabric that they need to transform. You use your own mana to make it. So I'm wondering if everybody can do that, or because because I, I'm everybody doesn't transform. So I'm wondering if it's unbreakable now that they use their own mana. So like, it's fueled by their power, so their clothing is kind of like their power so are they gonna do stuff like best genius can like could they use the fabric in their clothes to wrap somebody up or something because that would be totally cool because it still is an extension of their body because it has their mana in it so mm, we'll see but i think that's cool and then they come out and she looks like an angel and i tell you it's just jealous like why are you jealous of a little girl oh i i forgot the funniest thing about the first part of this episode the chicken's like <laughs> the 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 seamstress lady is like, yo, you need to get your daughter a beautiful dress. You got to give your daughter nice compliments and stuff. <laughs> he was like, isn't, you're not my dad. Da- and the affiliate was like, are you my dad? And she's like, no. He's like, no, I'm not your dad. You're, I'm more like, I'm your master. And he was like, but what about Rafta? She said, she's more like my daughter. And she was like, no, no. Nah. She was like, no, nah, I want to be more than that. Yeah. You bounce, you can wow, wow. <laughs> I'm just like, yo. I tell you, don't make that shit so obvious. Like, bro, what are you doing? It was just funny as hell to me. That was that was the funniest thing ever. 
But um, yeah, the episode was really just a kind of a filler episode, just showing how he's making a living and coming up in the world, and he doesn't have to fight every twenty five seconds. But it was still pretty nice. I liked it. I thought it was get some good character development between uh the characters. So that's good. But uh, that's the end of the video. That's all I have to say. Like, comment, subscribe if you like the video, and remember, anime, manga, and gaming is all that. And I'm at.